Hey man, Jesse Shredder. I don't know where you at, but you're late. You're gone, you missed it. If this is not the future, I don't know what is. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesse Shredder, aka your favorite herbivore, J Shreddosaurus. Flex! Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I appreciate you stopping by. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post my latest videos. And go ahead and bop that like button. With that being said, I know it's been almost a full month since I posted my last video, and that's because we're really trying to take a step into the future with our videography. I got the new iPhone 11 Pro, and that's what we're going to be recording on. Prior to this, this is what I've been recording with. This right here. This is my iPhone 7. We started at 7, now we're here. We're about to take a big leap into the future. Are you ready for it? Let's get it. Hey guys, welcome to the future. I noticed something a little bit different about my video. The lighting. The video quality, the microphone, my face. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a while, but things are about to get interesting here, so I appreciate you sticking along. On today's video, we will be discussing the future of this channel. It's so crazy that my face is a cartoon. Is anybody else as excited as me? I need to shave. Anyway, um, we're gonna go back to regular version of me and discuss some other things. This might only work if I'm standing on the chair. Okay, that's better. All right, so today we're gonna discuss some things from the future and how we're gonna get to the future. First of all, we're gonna start off with these blue light glasses. To protect your eyes, because we're living in a digital age. I mean, it's definitely the future if you need blue light glasses because everything is virtual. And speaking of virtual, a virtual reality headset. The augmented reality is definitely of the future. We're kind of there. We're still really far from living in this digital-based reality, but we're definitely getting there. And then earphones you could fit inside your palm. I know, I know. They're not even the second gen. And last but not least, this is going to lead us into our newest video series. This is futuristic. And this scale is going to take us... Snack to the future. All right, so now I want to talk about a new series I'm working on. Only way we could get there is with this unboxing. Without further ado, I present to you the Joseph and Joseph Tri Scale Folding Digital Kitchen Scale. If this is not futuristic, I don't know what is. This right here is the time flux capacitor to the future of this channel. We're about to do this unboxing. Let's yeah. All right, so here we go. I picked this up from Whole Foods. I don't know, I'm sure you could get it on Amazon as well. Look at this. That's pretty freaking cool. So before we get started, let me just snap a couple pictures. All right, here. Damn, the quality of this video is so much better than my old videos. We're going to take this scale out. It's light, but it's a little bit heavier than I kind of expected it to be. And I thought it was going to be like cheap plastic. It feels like it's, you know, it was made pretty well. I'd hope so. Uh, how the hell do you open this thing? We might need a knife. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got the knife. All right, hold on. Whoa. Bro. Look at this. If this thing is not futuristic, I don't know what is. Instruction manual, which I don't see why I would need, but I guess maybe when I'm setting it up, I'm gonna take this battery out. Need a freaking, uh, Hold. I don't know how to open this thing. We're running short on time, so I'm going to hurry up. I just got to check the time real quick. Actually, I have the time right here. 11.06. Okay, I got a few minutes. Um, hold on. I don't... Okay, maybe I... Maybe I'm going to need the scale. 
I mean, maybe I am gonna need the booklet to see how to open this thing. Okay, no, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I can figure this out. I think I just need something to turn it. Hold on. Apparently, I am an idiot because it says right here, close, open. So, I lied. I'm a moron. Oh, there we go. Let's see. I'm assuming it goes like this, but so far, my. So far. Oh, shit. Apparently, I have no idea what I'm doing in life. Okay, there we go. It's got to go like that. Yep. So we're gonna place this back in here and then you turn this to the... <sighs> they, they don't make this extremely easy to turn like... Like why? Okay, there we go. All right, so here we go. God, oh, those are my blue light glasses. Now they're my broken blue light glasses. Hold on. All right, I guess this shot's gonna have to be like this for a second. So I have this scale right here. We're going to see how this works. I imagine it's just like any other scale. I'll turn this around so you guys could see if that's even possible. Okay. So, zero it out. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can figure this out before. I hate instruction manuals. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, basically how it works is just like any other scale. What you do is you take, so you're gonna wanna make a surface to put whatever it is that you're, you're weighing down. So you put that down and then you have to choose whatever unit you wanna measure in. So I'm gonna do grams. And then you have to hold down the zero button. Let's say, hold on. So like, for instance, like say I want to keep this on the scale. You hit that zero button. I think on this one, you kind of just have to hold, hold it down. And now it's zeroed out. So now I could go ahead and put this on here. And that's going to be an accurate reading for this box. So that's pretty cool. The cool thing about this scale is that you could fold it up. Oh, I don't know if there's an on and off button, but we'll figure that out after. You could fold this up and take it with you anywhere because I just put this in my pocket. It's pretty freaking awesome. I'm gonna figure out how to turn this off. But with that being said, this is leading to our brand new series. We're gonna kick off sometime this week. So we're going to take this time flux capacitor. Marty, we're going snack to the future.